Hello everybody and welcome back to Stardew Valley Expanded. It is finally the first day of fall. Couple of changes, I changed the color of the UI as I usually do. Oh, hello Lewis. Had an idea that'll really put Pelican Town on the map. Market day, I didn't realize there was gonna be a cutscene for this. So this is the mod that I added. It's the only mod I'm adding for today. Market day, maybe a small town, but with hard work we can create a market that's known across Ferngill. Maybe across the world, what do you say? Are you ready for a challenge? Uh, well, I did add the mod, so I suppose I am. Great. We'll start small. Just you and two other shops. At first, you'll be able to showcase your best three items. As soon as you sell 40,000 gold of items, we can expand. So, okay. That sounds like challenge mode stuff. I'm gonna be honest, I turned challenge mode off. Basically, what challenge mode does is you need to make like meet certain requirements to upgrade the market, but I just kind of want to use the market, if that makes sense. To encourage you, every week I'll award a prize if your shop reaches its sales goal. What day should we have the market? I'm pretty sure I set it for Thursday. I don't know if I need to reset it after that. No festivals to interrupt the commerce. Friday it is. What if it rains or snows? Still have it. I admire the enthusiasm, Sal. Personally, I don't much like the snow. It's just snow. <laughs> Those are the main things we need to decide. We can work out the finer points at any time. Do you want to check over the details? Maybe I can change it to Thursday real quick. Here's to a very profitable venture. Day of the yeah, let's set that back to Thursday. That should be the only thing I need to change. Cool. Well, welcome to fall. Oh gosh, there's so much to do now. First of all, all of our ancient fruit coming up. Get rid of all of the old crops. Okay, so obviously what we're doing today is we're getting ready for fall. Sunflowers up, fish ponds growing. I need to like kind of get my bearings back just a little bit. So first thing I'm gonna do is I want to clear out this area. Yeah, there's not too much in that anyway. And we're going to move that elsewhere, maybe down here. It's a little out of the way, but it still works, you know? Well, I have absolutely no stone, so I can't really set up a good flooring over here. So I'm just going to kind of place them down for now. And we'll put the chest right there, put the things back in. All right, let's get this set up. I still have a regular hoe, don't I? Oh boy, this is going to be some time consuming work. All right, uh, honestly, one small thing I might end up doing. Oh, uh, first of all, I think I'm going to go ahead and turn this space over into cropped ground. I'm gonna destroy the corn. I'm gonna leave the ancient fruit, of course. And I think I'm going to try and just place a bunch of scarecrows on the sides. So one like there. That exposes only the top row and I can cover that with another scarecrow if I need to. So I need to get speed grow because speed grow is going to be fantastic. Oh, I can make deluxe speed grow. I just need coral, actually. I have three rare seeds. I have nine pumpkin seeds. So I'm gonna go ahead and place those. I think the rare seeds will be the top left. Pumpkins will be along the top. All right, 17 times nine, 153 crop plots. Okay, I'm doing the math. Minus that, that's 150. I mean, we'll just get, I had nine pumpkins, three, so that's another 12. So I'll get 138 cranberries and that's not true i'll get a couple of other kinds of crops because variety is the spice of life also oh my god this looks pretty can i just say like how much i love earthy recolors fall it is a whole new breed and i i'm a little sad because it doesn't have like the purples that regular fall has but oh my gosh that's leah oh my gosh that's right all the fall outfits are gonna be Worn. Oh my god. Oh, I love them. Controversial opinion, maybe not. I think that fall is the best fashion. 
year. Oh, that did cost 240. That's so much. Forgot that they were that expensive. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get that many, actually. Ooh, I didn't think I'd need that much money. So let's just get 60 cranberry seeds to start. I'm going to get one fairy rose seed. 20 wheat should be good. So that's 80 altogether. I'm only going to get one eggplant. Honestly, they're not very, they're not fantastic. And I'll get some more pumpkin seeds. All right, I was able to get 126. I mean, I guess 128 seeds. So that'll mostly fill our plot, but not quite. So we'll have to work on that a little more throughout the year. All right, let's get planting. Okay, I miscounted somewhere because we had plenty to fill the place in. In fact, we have a couple of extra cranberries for whenever we get another quality fertilizer. So another thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and hoe a spot right next to the sunflower. We're going to put the fairy rose there and we'll place a regular sprinkler next to it. I'm going to use two more regular sprinklers just to get a couple more cranberries set up today. All right, so now that we've got that done, I'm going to go to the beach and check for coral so that we can get some speed grow. Falls here. Oh my gosh, Abigail with the earrings. It makes her look a little bit older. I enjoy that. I'm always a fan of the characters looking older. People know this about me. All right, well, also, I didn't grab my gold pickaxe. Not that big of a deal. I can just grab it tomorrow. I found one piece of coral which lucky for us translates to five speed grows. So we can use those five. I mean, we only have three rare seeds, so I can just use them on the rare seeds and we're good. All right, five deluxe speed grow. I mean, I guess I'm just going to make basic fertilizer out of everything else. I also do have beet seeds. I completely forgot about those, but that's fine. We'll use them when we expand the farming area. All right, speed grow on the sweet gem bear. That reduced them to 18. That's such a crazy change. And I'll use the fertilizer on the pumpkins first and cranberries next. All right, we've got a pretty darn good portion of them fertilized. Uh, and with that, that's our entire day. Didn't really do a ton. That's fine. Um, I didn't tend to my animals at all. We were just busy the entire day. So there's that. Maybe uh, it'll be worth looking into a hoe upgrade soon. All right, here we are. I like that we have so many f crab pots that we get 100 fishing experience at the beginning of every single day. So uh, it is Penny's birthday. Okay, didn't know that was coming up. Thought it'd be fun to send you a letter. Here, I can close the treat for you. Uh, is that pepper poppers? That's pepper poppers. Thank you, Shane. Uh, and that's, that's a farming and speed upgrade. You know what? We're going to save that for when it's time to harvest our first big heart. Look at this also. Doesn't that just look so good? Although the fertilizer is very prominent on some of them. Apple tree is done. Now that that fish pond's done, I'm going to go ahead and put butterfish into it. I still don't have my pickaxe. I, I keep seeing that rock there and I'm like, oh, I got to pickaxe it. I am also now aware that I need milk for the home cooks bundle, so I'll be saving all of our milk up as well. Oh, that's right. Now that it's fall, we're going to start getting all kinds of mushrooms in our farm because it seems to have the same spawn rate that the regular forest farm does. And the regular forest farm gives you all mushrooms in fall, so that's a nice little bonus. So I don't know if I did this intentionally, but we do have a bunch of gold star melons, which is a loved gift for uh, Penny. So that's going to make this really easy on us. And I think I'll grab just a bunch of gifts for like everyone. Still focusing on the wizard. Don't want to forget about him. As I said before, I've been told that he's very important. Oh? Wait, now? Have we not seen this cutscene up until now? Oh, because it's Penny's first cutscene. And we must have just inched up, huh? Here, let me help you, Mr. Molnar. <gasps> Did they change the cutscene? 
Nope. I mean, they did. That's definitely adjusted, right? There you go. I could have done it myself, and I certainly can move around on my own. How feeble do you think I am? Love George's hat. Yeah, giving all these gifts today will give us a good chance to see everyone's new outfits. You were watching us? Yeah, you should have asked instead of assuming George wanted help. And also probably just don't... Oh, she doesn't have a sad face now. Oh, now she does. I'm sorry, Mr. Mulder. That was rude what I did. No, no, I'm sorry, miss. I shouldn't have gotten so angry. It was actually very kind of you to help me out. That's okay, Mr. Molnar, I understand. For a hot second, I thought they did change that cutscene. Like, a lot. Must be difficult to grow old. Uh, it's diff just a different part of life. You're right, we shouldn't ignore the reality of aging. I guess the sooner we come to terms with our mortality, the more time we can spend living in the here and now. Well, it was interesting talking to you, Sal. I should go. Honestly, I'm gonna say, the older I get, the more favorable I look at aging. Oh gosh, yeah, this too. That's right. Hello there, Sal. <laughs> Lewis's outfit is so much. You showed up at the perfect time. Yeah, fall's gonna be a very busy month for us. It's the new special orders board. Robin and I built it from scratch. Um, Lewis, all you did is hold the nails. Hey, he helped. Ignore her. <laughs> Your taxes are gonna be increased. Now let me explain. You see, with experience farm back in business, the local economy has really been picking up. As a result, some of the local townsfolk have been asking me for a way to source local ingredients for their business businesses or personal product projects. So Robin and I came up with the idea of a new special orders board. Yeah, this is a uh, vanilla stuff. For example, I plan on requesting some hardwood for a bed I want to make. I won't put you on the spot, but if you want to help me out, you can just accept the job from this board. Who knows, maybe if the bed turns out well, I'll start selling them in my shop. I look forward to helping. I'll also look forward to all the rewards. I wouldn't expect anything less from you, Sal. So can we say that you're on board? I forgot about that line. Gross. Disgusting. Gotta say, I'm really enjoying the color change that I did. I think it's very fitting. It looks very woody in the back there. As always, I appreciate your willingness to contribute. Take care, Sal. She is still losing it. She's, she thinks she's the funniest person on earth. Uh, okay. So let's find our gift people. Anyway, like I was saying, the older I get, the more favorable I look at getting older. Because, like, think about it. The older you get, most likely, the more disposable income you're going to have. You're probably going to be living a better life than you did when you were younger. And you could just, you could just do more, you know? We should all be looking forward to retirement. Hopefully it's still there when we get there. All right. Uh, curious substance. Oh, goop. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm taking that first. I don't remember if that's the obelisk quest or if it's the prismatic slime one. Regardless, I really do want that obelisk. All right, so it's uh, it's Penny's birthday. I've realized I have a map, <laughs> so I should probably just check the map and try to find them. Okay, Penny's at the library right now. All right, this is going to be a good, healthy dose. This is wonderful, thank you. Five hearts. We were barely at three or two before. Incredible. Vincent's little, oh, his little jacket. Love it. What's Jas wearing? Aw, cute. Turtleneck sweater. Elliot, wearing the same thing, I think. I will not be forgetting my pickaxe today. Now that we finally have that, we can have some really good days in the mines, probably. That's uh, the minimum I would want to go into the Skull Cavern, so we're going to have to orchestrate a Skull Cavern dive 
sometime in the near future. Another thing we need to look for is now that it's fall, we have a bunch of fish tank bundles that we're going to be able to finish. In fact, I gotta look to catch that catfish tomorrow since it is catchable. So let's uh, have a pretty empty inventory at the moment. I might make this a little bit of a fishing day. Here you go, Sophie. You're sweet, thanks. Yeah, four hearts. Also love the sweater. I'm so hungry, is it time to eat yet? Also, is this her friend that was in that one cutscene? It's a nice day today, perfect for vineyard work. Oh, I didn't know she'd be like just popping up every now and again. Cool. Oh, another cutscene. Who is this one for? Oh, Sophie. Or Sophia. I keep forgetting. Um, hi, Sal. Must be four heart cutscene. Uh, why were you... I, I, that's not my business. How are you doing? Um, I've been better. Why are you asking? Ooh, uh-oh. I should do something to cheer up Sophia. Um, food or dog? If I know introverts, it's dog. Dusty, um, I'd like that. Sure, let's go. Work. I love how they put a bunch of characters just in the background of these cutscenes. Because I don't think vanilla cutscenes do that too often. Oh my gosh, aren't you just a, so, so adorable? Dog noises. We gave Dusty many pets. Sophia laughed a lot. She feels better. Sweet. Again, I still haven't gotten into it at all. Um, apparently, I actually did miss a little bit of background because I gave that specific answer to uh, Gus in a previous cutscene. Yeah, we need Red Snapper and Tilapia, and I'm not seeing those out here, so maybe those are night fish? I'm not quite sure. Oh, Willie is just looking so spiffy. Well, I'm continuing to give out some gifts. Here's some ice cream for Martin. Really want to try and get him up a bit faster. Anything at the mystery sale? Oh, pumpkin seeds. Those are a little more expensive than normal. I could just outright get bok choy, radish, or cauliflower, but I don't need any of them at the moment, so I won't bother. Uh, honestly, it doesn't seem like I can catch many of the fish that we actually need for bundles right now, so I think... Instead, wait, there's a, there's a new fish here. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can really quickly catch that up then. Ooh, an anchor. Well, uh, I caught a lot of fish and never even hooked that one. So I'm going to assume that it's like either really rare or maybe I need to have level 10 fishing to even hook it. Similar to how the legend is. Now, I'm, I don't want to assume that that's the method, but it certainly feels like that. Uh, now, what I was going to do is I'm going to spend just a little bit of time trying to see if I can find ectoplasm from a ghost. All right, last ghost of the night. Let's hope if it let's hope it has it. I've only killed two other ones, but still. This was also a good chance to get, like, a lot of coal and stuff, so I'm not complaining if I don't get it. Uh, it did not drop it, so we are out of here. Alright, no big deal. We have a whole week to get it done, so... Not too terribly pressed. So I do have 78 coal now, so that should... I mean, well, we do need to make bee houses. How many bee houses can we make first? Zero. Okay, good. Then I will put most of it into our stack of furnaces and I just realized that I'm very close to passing out so let's go to bed oh I guess I already petted the cat all right day three of fall rainy day I've been told that if queen of the sauce doesn't show up in the top right then I don't actually need to check it no matter what I'd like to give my cows a special treat they're such oh yeah amaranth I forgot about that mission it's always worth like 
kind of planting Amaranth on the first day just because. Also, we have a bunch of bee houses, or bee houses done today. So that'll be a good injection of money. So we are going to need pomegranates soon. 15 days to mature? Bro, what have you been doing all this time? I do think perhaps a trip to the community center might be in order, since we do have quite a few things to donate at this point. Uh, before we do, though, I want to take a look through Cinder Sap Forest, see if we can find the last Fall Forgeable that we've yet to find, which would be blackberries. Okay, uh, I'm here in the for Why are these... Are fall slimes in the secret woods usually, like, orange? I mean, I guess I don't know what color they would be. Um, there's a couple of things I need to catch in here. I need to catch the catfish and I need to catch the wood skip still because I still haven't caught it. So let's go for those. Oh, well, there's the wood skip. Easy enough. And there's a catfish, and I am going to catch one more so we can donate it to the aquarium. Oh, and the wall basket. Uh, actually, you know, upon looking at my inventory, uh, maybe we won't try to catch another, just to save ourselves the embarrassment for now. Is that an ancient seed? Ancient fern seed? Plant during summer takes 12 days to mature. Huh, well, we will be getting our greenhouse done in the next two weeks, so maybe we could plant it in there. All right, not a bad foraging day. I will say, though, I'm absolutely stumped as to what I'm going to do with, like, the mushroom colony and the poison mushroom. You know what I should actually start doing? I should just start putting, like, one-off things like that just in the fridge in the off chance that they do end up being used for some kind of cooking recipe. So maybe, like, one of each kind of thing into the fridge from now on. Sounds good to me. All right, time for the test. Can we transplant the fruit tree? We can transplant the fruit tree. Thank God. Get it out of here. I did designate this area up here, so that's going to be our fruit tree spot. I can I can even move the saplings. Cool. That should be a good spot. Hopefully, there's two spaces in between them. That's the rule. We will see, I suppose. I like that I can't move it back to the position it was in. There. <laughs> I was just moving it for the sake of it. I need to decide what's the next building we're going to build. A, a silo is an eventuality. A mill is another eventuality. Shed I might want to start getting built soon. Uh, another fish pond never hurts. Slime hutch, I want that for Gus. Could upgrade to the big coop. Deluxe barn is a must-have. In fact, you know what? I think it might be worth working on that now. Actually, now that I think about it, yeah, because we're going to have to wait for our pigs to grow too, and we really want truffles, so... That will be our next big purchase, and we'll get the money for that once our crops start growing. Wood, stone, uh, it might be worth grinding a lot of wood and stone the next few days. Do I still have those? I don't have the strawberries with me. I got rid of them for some reason. Oh, hey, there's a blackberry. Well, that works. Can't wait for blackberry season. My salmon berries have just barely made it through to fall, so cut it a little close on that. All right, cheese for the artisan bundle. I have got all of the fall foraging bundle. Oops, wrong thing. There it is. Couldn't find it for a second. Giving us 30 fall seeds, not a big deal. All that leaves is the two items here in the winter foraging bundle. No reason to try and fast track the snow yam because we absolutely cannot get the holly until winter. That is unless we find it in like the traveling card, I suppose, but I'm not holding on hope for that. We do have the catfish for the river fish bundle. That leaves only the tiger trout. When do those show up? Maybe it's like a night fishing kind of ordeal. 
Then I have the three apples for the fodder bundle. Wheat's coming in soon. What do we have to do here? I'm probably just going to outright buy the extra wheat flour. Okay. I'm hoping for a year one community center completion, but honestly, with all the extra stuff we've had to focus on, I'm not 100% sure if we're really going to make it. Which it's no big deal. This, this expansion, like all the mods we've added, add plenty of stuff to do anyway. Hello, Olivia. I have not forgotten you. Six hearts. Did we have six hearts with her previously? We might be looking at another heart cutscene soon. And for my boy Victor, ice cream. It's great. Thanks, Al. I love your fit. Going to visit Sophia tomorrow at her vineyard. While I'm there, I'll pick up some more of her iridium quality wine. It's one of my mother's favorites. Man, <laughs> crazy that I could theoretically just pay like a couple thousand gold just to get an iridium loved item. Not quite that stacked, though. There's tiger trout in the river. Uh, let's go ahead and fish them out and then we can finish the river fishing bundle. Ooh, there's a walleye, we needed that. Now if we could just get the tiger trout. Did I imagine the tiger trout in here? Maybe I did, it's not there. Oh, maybe we just went into, oh no, there's tiger trout. No, I'm gonna catch it. I'm trying to fish for all these specific fish has got me thinking. I think it'd be really cool. I don't think I can catch the tiger trout anymore because we just hit 7 p.m. I think it'd be really cool if someone added an extension to the visible fish mod where if you fish at a fish, you'll be more likely to catch it. Or if it like kind of works like an animal crossing system almost, that'd be really cool. Well, rip the tiger trout. Uh, let's go check the ocean for any unique ocean fish. I know we haven't completed that bundle either. Uh, eels. I'm not seeing anything. I'll fish for a couple of seconds anyway. All right. Yeah, nothing special. So I'll just take my fish and go. I did fish up a super cucumber, which is important for the Grange tomorrow. So the thing with the Grange, as I understand, or the Grange, listen, I don't know. Uh, the Grange or the Grange is that it kind of works similar to the Stardew Valley Fair, where having a more higher variety and higher quality of products makes them all sell for more as a whole. And it's a bit of like a kind of farmer's market kind of thing, so people are going to buy whatever you put out. The focus is kind of just to make a good variety of well-selling items and we'll get extra money for selling them. Uh, it's 9.50 p.m. I don't really know what I'm doing at this point. Maybe I could just really quickly go to the mines, see if I can get any ghosts for the ectoplasm. Oh, hi, Marlin. Careful in your adventures today, Sal. Uh, I don't, man, I don't think I have anything that you would like. Coconut's a fruit? Alas, I remain ectoplasmless. Really cut it close here, but there's not really anything I need to do back at the farm, so not too worried about it. Plus, don't have to worry about organizing. Boom! I love that. Uh, is there any of these? I need the walleye, so I'll keep the walleye around. I haven't really played around with decorating at all. Uh, maybe I'll turn this room into kind of like a little grassy themed room, but we can't really do too much with that until we get the uh, furniture catalog and all that. Market day. Okay, G my goal is to make 10,000 gold. Okay, so I still have the goals, it seems like. We only has one more day. Got a bit more. Ah, I just realized I need to connect a... Uh, something to that. What's the ring? 10 wild bait? That's pretty expensive right there. Give me that common mushroom. Gosh, okay, so Grange Day, first of all. Pizza. Can't go wrong with pizza. Jeez, what do I even do? So for that honey, I very simply just need to make another chest. And this chest will collect all of the honey that comes out of all of these. Yep, just like that. So I don't need to constantly check it. That'll be automated from now on. So let's get our stuff ready for the Grange. Well, you know what? First of all, we have enough wild bait just outright. Four wild bait there. Can I make enough wild bait. I need bug meat. I can bang that out in a day. Okay, so we can set up our Grange display and then put those out there. 
that'll be the plan. I have so many summer seeds, oh my gosh. So what's going in? I think a gold melon, I mean, selling a lot of these gold melons there is going to be kind of primo. And you know what? Even like some of the better ancient fruit might as well. Four leaf clover is liked by everyone, but it's not really impressive in any other way. Absolutely super cucumber. Although we do want to save a super cucumber for the, you know, the thing. Gold star puppy fish, that's for what's her name? I mean, diamond. Sell some diamonds, get some money there. Maybe some gold bars. Okay, I think I'm satisfied f with this. This'll, this'll make us 10,000. So I believe it opens at eight, so we're not gonna have anything there for now. Prehistoric tool. I have not gotten a prehistoric tool before. You know what, let's make this a little bit of a museum day. We haven't done that on a hot minute. I know I have plenty of geodes here to open. All right, the Grange display of experience farm. Now, as I understand, you're supposed to put your best item on that sign, and that's absolutely gonna be ancient fruit. And then we're gonna, okay, we can only put three in at a time, okay. And only one of each, okay, gosh. Then we'll do that, and I believe anything we put in here will auto fill into it whenever they buy something. I didn't realize we were still going to level up. Also, no one else has put anything out. I guess since it starts at eight. If you wanna get on my baby girl's side, give her Tom soup. Oh yeah, I'll give her that, cause I have that. This is also going to be a good chance for everyone to kind of gather. More people come into the shop to warm up. Yeah, a lot of people are gonna gather here, so it's gonna be easy to give gifts on these days too. I didn't even think about that. Oh, Sam, you'll like this pizza. Sure, that's easy enough. Oh, they bought it. I don't know if there's any, I think you get like a summary on the next day, depending on how much you sold. Is that Carolyn? The green hair stands out so much on the red shirt. I didn't, I almost didn't recognize her. Okay, cool. Love her outfit. Oh, someone else bought something too. How often do they refill? Maybe that's a feature unlocked later? I don't know. I'll come back every now and again just in case. Also, he <laughs> just bought that. My melons! Ooh, Sophia, salmon. Collect coal, I can do that. Defeat lava crabs, I'm not 100%. You know what? Sure, we'll slay. Oh, let's go pop open geodes first. If they're there, I suppose. Because I realized everyone's leaving to go and check it out, so I might not even be able to do any geodes or anything, but no, we're good. Did I? Hold on. I passed the coal mission from just opening geodes. That's actually kind of funny. I like that. So I just need to say hi to Clint now, right? Yep. Cool. Well, there's a bit of free money. Cutscene? Oh, it's Martin. Also, Marlin and Gil are here, too. Feeling lucky. It's always so funny when that shows up. Oh, I have materialized out of the ether. Oh, Sal, I didn't see you there. I was just checking out, um... What should I say? Uh, you come to town on your days off? I don't want to pry. I know, there's so many, like, prying dialogue options. Come to town on your days off? Yeah, not much to do at home. And this place has... What? Magazines for you to look at? Okay, I guess I'll level with you, Sal. I'd say we're friends now, right? Debatably. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so sure, apparently. See this book here? It's a book of genealogy. There's a lot of old families in the valley. Bet you didn't know this, but Pelican Town has some of the best records of families in the area at any library around. Small towns are good with that. Guess it's kind of a weird hobby for a guy my age to have, huh? 
No, that's cool. I mean, definitely a little weird, but I've got a good reason. I'm adopted. It's not a big deal, but I don't know who my birth parents are. And sometimes I come in here just to poke around, thinking I might learn something. That's fair. I love my parents, but I felt like I've... I never felt like I belong in my family, even before they told me. Youch! Anyway, I come here and look around, that's all. And it's a good excuse to get out of the house. I feel more at home in Pelican Town than I do in the country, even if it weren't for the books. I met you here and... and Claire, too. Oh! Hmm. Kind of a natural pairing there, I guess. Just like uh, in the base game. Thanks for listening, and for making me feel welcome at home here. I'll get back to reading now. I wonder if Victor and Sophia are supposed to also be like the natural pairing as well. Yeah, no, that's fair. Uh, one thing about our small town that I live in in real life is there's like old maps you can find that literally have like the, the they have every single house listed with the last name of the family that lives there which i find so cool like a little weird in modern times but back then when you like you know you had to know everyone in town it's just really cool uh okay so a couple of things i need to do um that's right i need to get stone i need to find ectoplasm Lava crabs if we happen to be there. And honestly, I also need to get a lot of stone as well. So we have quite a bit to do here. Uh, we do need a better weapon. <laughs> I'll say that much. I wouldn't hate to get a prismatic shard, if at all possible. Just remembered I needed to get a bunch of bug meat too. So I'll be scouring pretty much every floor of the mines for so many different reasons. Alright, there we go, got the bug meat. I realize that I also need to get slime for the wild bait, so I'll have to grind a little bit of that out as well. Alright, I got the slime. My next goal is ectoplasm, and it'll be this ghost. Nope. Okay. Cool. Nope, special slime. I guess we could quickly check and see what we get from that. A uh, glow ring. Okay. I mean, not better than what we have. I might prefer it to the magnet ring, maybe. But that's a hard maybe. Oh my goodness, there's the ectoplasm. Wow. I really thought we were just going to not get it. Okay, well that's good. We accomplished so much in the mines today. So first of all, we got enough ingredients for the wild bait. We also worked towards so many slayer goals. So let's go ahead and make the wild bait now. Yeah, I can craft two of them. Thank goodness. Oh, we had plenty of slime. I didn't even have to grind for that. But the more slime we have, the easier it's going to be to make a slime hutch later. So I'm not too worried about it. All right. There we go. Dog fished up. I don't know if I'm going to add another dog. I also got 53 coal on that trip. Okay. Yeah, that'll do it. Ectoplasm will have to turn in tomorrow. Uh, I just realized we're probably going to pass out. So that's not great. Except we didn't because I'm goaded. Uh, just another quick little realization here. Okay, some items were placed in the lost and found. So I was about to say, I did not check the Grange display. 43 visitors, 41 grumpy villagers. What do you mean? So they don't auto-refill. Interesting. Average bonus was 40%. I mean, we did sell the items for much more than they're normally sold. Look, that diamond for 1,125. Melon sold for a lot more too. Ancient fruit sold to Lewis for 1,207 gold. Like, that's crazy. I only sold five items and I got 4,000 gold from that. Okay, maybe we should put it in competition mode because it seems like it was kind of in it anyway. I didn't realize that the level up mechanic was going to stay even if I hadn't done that. So that's something to explore. Maybe some of y'all have like more experience with that and can let me know. Uh, we're officially running out of bait. Also, there's a lot of coal in here. 
And people wanted to tell me that? Well, I checked it, so there you go. Hopefully that can get us started on some money so that we can make the big barn soon, or the deluxe barn rather. Yeah, 7,000 gold, that'll put us at 18,000. That's, that's closing in on it, that's for sure. All of our wheat's ready, which means that we are now ready to, first of all, put down beets. Oh, a crow got to that. Sucks. Because we do need beets. So that'll be good. And it also perfectly filled the space. So there's that. I should probably make one more. I don't have the fiber to make a scarecrow. Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, I'll make one more scarecrow to kind of cover the top. It's not going to perfectly cover it, no matter what we do. But it'll be pretty darn close. These four are at risk. Which, you know, now that I think about it, they probably shouldn't be, considering those are the sweet gem berries. So now those three are at risk, which is much better. Alright, what's the plan for the day? I mean, it's Elliot's birthday. I don't really... We've completely ignored Elliot up to this point. Like the gifts? He likes the conch. I mean, I could just forage for something. Well, you know what? Lobsters would have been good, but oh well. Let's go ahead and deliver that ectoplasm. And while we're here, hello. Ooh, quality sprinkler. That's not bad. Roasted hazelnuts. Ooh. I'm sure that's a loved item for someone important, but we'll never know. Uh, yeah, I don't think we need any of this, really. Speaking of, did y'all see that there's a Stardew Valley cookbook coming out in sometime next year? Absolutely getting it. And I'm absolutely going to, like, share my creations with y'all. Can't wait for that. Where is my man? Friday? Where would he be on a Friday? Maybe downstairs. That's all I could imagine. I should have bought Void Essence also. My bad. My man. Enjoy your ectoplasm. Now be gone. Yeah, maybe I will be. Cool. 2,500 gold? And that got us Homesteader. And I believe we also get a recipe in the mail tomorrow from that. Whether it's the warp obelisk or what, I don't know, but excited for that, at the very least. Uh, do we have any more maple syrups over here? We do, okay. So we can make a couple more whatevers. Also, I just realized we do have the keg recipe, and we should have everything we need to make some kegs. So maybe we can get started on the keg empire as everyone needs to do eventually. Oh yeah, we could go ahead and make five. Cool, so let's set up the kegs here. And this is just kind of like a small little plot for now. What should we put in there? Now I know we do have those gold melons, but those are like, those are important for other reasons. Uh, I guess we just put all of our hops in there, right? One strawberry. We're going to make one strawberry wine because we need a wine for the whatchamacallit bundle. So I'm going to manually insert a strawberry so that that's guaranteed to be done as soon as possible. And then we're going to put in all of those hops and those will automatically make beer, which is technically, or no, it's making pale ale. Man, I don't remember. Technically one of the best money makers from kegs. All right, maple syrups, we can make three bee houses. We are limited by our wood, of all things, which reminds me, we're going to need a lot of wood for the big barn, so we, we're going to need to worry about that soon. I suppose I should go out and give Elliot a gift. I don't think I can get this clover. Wait, hold on. Yeah, I just straight up can't get it because it's on the edge of the screen. Well... Abigail have an amethyst. I know we haven't focused on you much, but we'll get there. <gasps> I knew it. Olivia six heart cutscene. Nice. This is the thumbnail. Easily the thumbnail. You can't stop me. Is she taking a smoke? In the basement? I don't know. Is that? Can you do that? Guess you can do whatever, but... Hello, sweetie. I was listening to Haruhi Kiyoko. She's a famous guitarist, Gatoran violinist. Is the Katoro Empire intended to be kind of, like, Asian? 
inspired? I miss listening to her live music on the radio, or her live on the radio. There's a magic to live music that recordings don't capture. Once I went to see her perform with an orchestra, she was magnificent. When the war started, radio broadcasts from Gatoro were blocked in the Ferngill Republic. Hope nothing terrible happened to her. Um, I mean, why would something bad happen, you know? Is this like a North Korea kind of thing? I mean, I, ca I can't imagine anything bad would have happened to her. I'm hopeful she'll overcome this. My family is from the Gatoro Empire. My mother and father immigrated to the Ferngill Republic. I have family and friends there, trapped and unable to leave. I worry for their safety. I don't know if they're okay or not. It's impossible to call or write to any of them. I've heard rumors of what's happening. I don't want to believe any of it. I need a glass of wine. Hey. Me too. I hope. <laughs> there will be rain tomorrow. Here's something you've never tasted, Sal. Ring fruit wine, aged 30 years from the Fern Islands. Okay. You may have met Suki, the traveling merchant. Suki's her name. She visits the forest on weekends to sell goods from Gatoro. It's sad. The only way we can get anything from home is buying smuggled goods. Yeah, well... It's good stuff. I purchased a rare Gatoran china dish from her a few weeks ago. It's from a particularly ostentatious pattern. Pattern? From a pattern? I put it on display in the kitchen cabinet upstairs. I wonder, where did that set come from? What family sold it off piece by piece so that they could afford to eat? Yeah, take a sip after that one. What should I say? Um, I'm glad, I mean, I don't, I'm going to try to bring the mood up. I'm glad she helps you stay connected with your home. Her daughter just turned six. Suki's shown me pictures and she's absolutely precious. I hope I can visit next time she's in the valley. Suki occasionally gives me insider information. It's not always what the news here tells us. Yeah, I wouldn't imagine. It's once again pouring down rain. <laughs> How was the wine, Sal? Good, apparently. It's rare and expensive, but having nice things doesn't matter if you can't share them with those you care for. You care for me? Ooh, six hearts is in the caring territory. I'm sorry, Sal. This conversation has given me grim reminders. I need to be by myself. Thank you, dear. Huh. Oh, she wasn't smoking. She was drinking wine. That's what she was doing down here. Now it makes sense. Edward, I miss you. Oh. Huh. I mean, yeah, you know, there was a husband in the picture at, picture at some point. We just don't know really what happened there. Um, anyways, how would you like? Is she actually down there? Hold on. Oh yeah, she is, wow. These plates are from the Gatora Empire. They look handcrafted. Oh no, I wanted to talk to her. My apologies for ending our conversation in my cellar abruptly as I did. I was reminded of my hut. Never mind. please excuse me, Sal. Well, I know it'll turn that frown upside down. A diamond. Yeah, that's right. 
Maybe, uh, oh god, this is gonna be awful to say. Maybe I can make you forget about him. Hey, Victor. What's up? Would you like some ice cream? You're so sophisticated, and that's what I love about you, Victor. Uh, Penny, while you're here, might as well give you the gold star melon. If I could get you maxed out early, that would make things easier on me. I don't know you. Yeah, you still- Hey, we have one heart. I'm not a complete stranger. Sophia is in Calico Desert? I mean, it's the same place Marlin and Martin are. Uh, yeah, Elliot's definitely in his house. Alright. Again, I'll keep an eye. I can't imagine he wouldn't go to the saloon. Also, while we're here really quick, let's see if we can get that tiger trout. Yup, there's Elliot. I think I was just going to give him a diamond, to be honest. My pomegranate tree isn't ready yet, so that's unfortunate. Um, do you think anything would be better? I mean, I don't know, dude. I think a diamond is it for this interaction. So, uh, hopefully you like it. Yeah, okay. I think he really liked it. That was a liked item, at least. Give me that tiger trout now. Salmon, do we still have that mission for... Yeah, we do. So if Sophia ever comes back, we can give her the salmon as well. That'll be quite the duo of gifts. There we go, that took some doing. All right, sweet. Sophia is still out in the void somewhere. And I don't know why. Oh, hey, guess we have a scene here. No Sophia though. Sal, it's great to see you. Love her outfit still. Although, why is the bottom not matching? Gus, may I, uh, may I make Sal a drink on the house? Sure, Emily. Sal, enjoy the free drink. We appreciate the business you've given the saloon. Oh, sweet. Bet Pam would <laughs> take some of that. Yay, yeah, here's our cocktail menu. What, what drink would you like? Oh gosh, do I actually have to choose? Okay, whiskey, lime juice, mint, uh, mint. Gin, sugar syrup, lime juice, sparkling water. Uh, vodka, cran... Nope. <laughs> no cranberries. White rum, dark rum. Orange, curacao. Or get syrup, lemon juice. That sounds good. Tequila, orange juice, grenadine syrup. Oh no, Red Moon. Easily. Orange juice is the best mixed drink ingredient. This is Robin's favorite. Good choice, Sal. Give me just a moment while I whip this up for you. I was going to just come in here to get some beers for, you know, just giving out to everyone. Voila, here you are, Sal. I hope you enjoy it. Anyone else just say, like, Viola <laughs> when they see that? When they were a kid? They didn't know that how it was uh, made. I mean, I'm sure it was amazing. I can't imagine it was bad. You're welcome, Sal. Round of drinks over here, please. Coming right up here. Again, I love how populated these new cutscenes are. Looks like my night's about to get busy, Sal. If you need me, you know where to find me. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Sweet. Oh, and then I leave. No, I, I did want to buy some stuff, actually. And actually, everyone's here. So this is a fantastic chance to give... Olivia and ice cream. Also, I am tipsy debuffed. Mushrooms pop up in the center step force this time of year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know about all that. Do I have a red pepper? I do. And that can be given to our boy, Lewis. Have you tried Gus's secret spaghetti sauce? The ingredients may be secret, but the smell isn't. I'll see you later. Okay. Um, now, Andy, we haven't given you anything in a hot second. How would you like my other hot pepper? Thanks for the gift, farmer. You're very much welcome. Uh, let's grab some beer. Five ought to do. I don't want to overdo it. Pepper poppers and hearty stew. More pepper poppers might not actually hurt for when we uh, harvest a bunch of stuff. Cool. Olivia's here. Shane's here. The gang's all here. What are you... Victor is playing Pumpkin Smashers. Okay. Hope he has fun with that. 
So is like Sophia not coming back or like what? Cause I need to give her the salmon today is the problem. Yeah, uh, no clue. Her house is locked. It still says she's nowhere. Cause it would say that she's here if she was, right? I don't know, I feel like it would. I'm gonna cut down trees for the rest of the day so that we can hopefully get ready for the deluxe barn. I want it built by the end of this video at least. You know, I'm starting to think just a little bit that maybe the lumberjack profession would have been worth it. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy like that. So many things cost so much wood and we're good to go. Ready for Saturday. All right, rainy day. I was hoping just a little bit, I don't know, that we were gonna get a cooking level up. Uh, mini obelisk, oh my God, that's gonna be crazy. I wanted to thank you for being such a sweetheart and listening to me the other day. I know I can get a little maudlin when I've had a few glasses. Next time we have a drink, I'll tell you about some of the marvelous places I've visited. It's easy to forget there's a world outside of the valley sometimes, but I have plenty of stories to share. All my love, Olivia. How do you not love her? How are you not obsessed, you know? Anyway, I think we should be able to get enough milk today to where we can donate it to the community center. I'm gonna go ahead and slap the wheat down here as well. Pale ale, 15 hours, couple minutes. Not too long to wait. Oh my God, the butterfish turned it yellow. Oh, that's so fantastic. I love that in every single way. Also our eggplants ready, which means all we're waiting on are these pumpkins that'll be ready in four days. And hopefully by the time those four days pass, we've figured out a way to complete the artisan bundle as well. Thinking if we give a gift tomorrow today, we might be able to finish her up to eight. That will be our second completed character. Okay, I think we're going to be spending some time in the mines because uh, in order of getting those bundles finished, I need to get squid ink. I would like to get squid ink so that we don't need to get aged a row. However, I also want to donate a couple of things here. So the wheat we got completing the fodder bundle and giving us a heater. Oh, I, I completely forgot about those. We are going to need two of those. I did catch us a tiger trout completing the river fish bundle, giving us 30 bait. Okay. And just an eggplant. <laughs> That's about it for that. Ooh, also I did finally bring the cactus fruit for the dye bundle. We have the beets growing, which just leaves the iridium bar, which, you know, again, we might want to get a skull cavern run going sometime soon. And that'll maybe be like next week because this week I really do want to focus on the deluxe barn. Demetrius, I did, oh no, it's that cutscene. I don't understand, tomatoes are fruits. I never noticed that he was holding a grocery bag here. I don't know if that's part of the original game. When a normal person says they want fruit, they never mean tomatoes. It doesn't matter what the scientific classification is. Yeah, oh boy. Sal, I'm glad you're here. You'll be able to put this argument to resk. Oh no. Did I say resk? How would you classify to a tomato? Listen. I know, I get it. I figured a farmer would know the correct answer. Nah, bro, come on. I just want you to understand my point of view. It's hard for me to know exactly what assumptions I should make when you tell me something. But I'll try to get better at it. Thanks for your help, Sal. So here's the thing. I, I have an official view on Demetrius. Where's Mar Mario? Yeah. I'm gonna strawberry up your daughter. He's not an off, like, I don't think you're like, oh, he's the worst thing since, I don't know, sliced bread. But like, also, he does not have a single cutscene that's positive. They're all him making mistakes, him getting aggressive over Maru. Like, there's not, not a single one where it's just like him and his wife having a good time, you know? It's always an argument or something. And that's why I think like most people have like a negative view of them. Hello, Marlon. Get beard. Up to two hearts. Not too bad. So we're going to be scouring floors 80 plus. I forgot it still takes two hits to get the gold ore. In the hopes of finding 
a bunch of squid kits and getting squid ink just once. I'd rather not make an entire fish pond just for squid ink, so that's the plan. Of course, while we're down here, I'm also going to be working on getting stone for the deluxe barn. <laughs> okay, first kill, I got some, uh, I got a gold bar, so. This ought to be a little bit lucrative, at least. Okay. Well, that'll do it. That literally took like five seconds of in-game time. Ooh, crab. I don't know if I'll need a crab for anything, but I'll take it. Huh, well, I was kind of expecting that to be a much longer process than it was. So, I mean, is there anything else I need right now down here? I don't think there is, so I think I'm just going to like 100% focus on stone until I get, I think 200 will be enough. So we'll do that. All right, I have 192 stone. That combined with what we have at home should be enough. So I think we're good. Uh, it's 4 p.m. I mean, let me check actually, just so I can make absolute sure. So what's our stone looking at? 328, good, that's all we need. And wood is at 342. We do need a bit more wood, so I'm gonna go... I don't know what I'm using this wheat for. You know what? Uh, let's turn that into beer. Let's put all that extra wheat in there. Why not? You know what? I'll grab one so that we can ship it. All right, I suppose I'm going to head into the woods, cut down some trees, visit the wizard, and try to find Sophia. Okay, first of all, how does he already how does Marnie already have fully grown pumpkins? Cannot happen. Alright, senior wizard. Here's your second gift of the week. Four hearts. Does that mean a new cutscene, perhaps? Let me like check around. Make sure we're not gonna get a new cutscene by walking around. Not even in the rain? Okay, it's somewhere out there. Uh, one thing I just remembered, there's a pond in, like, the deep secret woods that while we have rain here, I think I want to go and check out. Because we did have... Uh, someone mentioned that there was, like, a king carp back there. And I don't know if that's, like, actively catchable right now, but I do want to see what is. Alright, we've kind of thrown the whole Sophia thing out of the window at this point. In addition, I'm not sure if I'm going to get home on time. Uh, I don't see any king carp or whatever in here but also i didn't see it there in the first place when they mentioned that it was there so maybe it's just not represented with visible fish i'm gonna fish just until maybe like oh midnight should give us enough time to get back maybe well no luck with any new fish uh, i did get a gold star catfish which is neat I might start saving those for Willy to get friendship up with him. I think his, I mean, his birthday's got to be coming up soon. We haven't had his birthday yet, and there's only a little less than half of the year left, so we'll save at least one for his birthday. Wow, really cut it close there. It's a good thing I decided to leave just a little bit before midnight, so I am going to put all these fish in here. I like finding all the mushroom colonies around because they, they blend in with the ground, so it's kind of like a little secret. I should have just enough time to refill this with some bait, because I know it's running low. Yeah, three left. Just to get it a little more. A little more time before we take like a big shopping trip to Willy's to refill it. All right, final day here. I do want to check the, check the traveling merchant. Do we have like every queen of the sauce recipe? Sheesh. It must have been a lot of the early ones that are covered by the uh, saloon. Cranberries have one more day to grow. All right. Well, that's not a problem because we actually have enough money from all that. You've proven your trustworthiness. I would like to propose I teach you some basic magic. Does it mean the chambers that you... Okay, we're absolutely doing that, first of all. Okay, we have that. Uh, we should have all of the materials we need to get the deluxe barn started today, which is fantastic. Unfortunately, no milk today. All right, I think first things first, I'm gonna upgrade the barn because that's like the big thing. I just wanna go and see the wizard because it's cool. <laughs> but that is an absolute must have. So we'll grab all of our stone, grab all of our wood and get going. 
And speaking of stone and wood, there's one mod that I was really thinking about implementing, and it's basically basic resources don't take up inventory slots. They're always in your inventory, but in like a separate material inventory. And that seems so useful, but I thought it might interfere with the automate mod of it, because I don't know if I'll still be able to put them in chests if they're just in a permanent inventory slot, you know? Oh, it was only 550 wood. Okay, even better. Well, let's build it. So we have that going. I'll need to also make some more money, which I will, because I'll have cranberries ready, so that I can buy a pig or two. Any intriguing quests? Collect wood. Defeat ghosts. Bring Emily Carp. I mean, I could probably collect wood. I'll probably do that anyway. Pam, while I got you here, I do have beer that I just kind of bought for everyone. Okay, I realize I have literally no money, but traveling cart, do you have any artisan good? Eh, nothing. Okay, well, that kind of sucks because, uh, that's gonna be nearly the only thing holding us back soon. So hopefully we can, I don't know, figure out some artisan good. We should be checking Joja every day as well. So uh, what's with our, uh, we're gonna learn some magic? Yeah, you prune that bush. Just a moment. Hmm. I'm gathering herbs for your elixir. My elixir, you say? Huh, have no fear, Sal. You have my assurance that it won't be as harsh as the first one you drank. Come, join me at the cauldron. I forgot. Yeah, we we did drink an elixir from you before. I, I thought of it more of a witch's brew. But, sure. One final touch. The elixir is complete. With this, you can be a, begin accumulating mana from the world around you, allowing you, wait, straight up? This is like a magic system? Drink up. So like, there's that magic mod that I showcased a long time ago that was really cool. It never really ended up getting completed, I don't think, but is this like kind of that? Good, now when you're ready, join me downstairs in my study. If this is like a, wait, hold on. Will this allow me to use like the shrine and stuff maybe? Yeah, you're pink now. I like that they have a whole new like thing for that. Also, I just realized he's regular Magnus co colors now. Now you try. A default farmer. Okay. On your first attempt, no less. Marvelous. Most impressive, Sal. Perhaps in the future I'll teach you some more spells. If your aptitude is as high as it seems, we may even explore higher theory about the governing laws that bind our world. Okay, good lord. Glad to see the prospect excites you. Also like how this downstairs kind of has like stars in the background. You can now use the Shrine of Illusions. Okay, the Shrine of Transgender has been unlocked. Oh, 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 before we go, before you like get through me, go ahead and gift you that. Okay, so it's not like a magic system. It's more like unlocking features. Gotcha. Well, I'm assuming that's not the only thing we're gonna be unlocking that's significant due to the fact that everyone was begging me to start getting friendship with him. So I'm sure we'll get something a bit more substantial in the future. Uh, I'm going to take a trip to Sophia's because I still have this dogfish and I've had it for like the fast, past five years and I want to give it to her. <laughs> Bro, she already has full sets of grapes planted. Come on. Is she really not here? Did I delete Sophia? Is she just like gone? Where? Oh, she's not up there. No, she's at the store. Oh my god. We're getting this game. 
Also, her background is way different now. It's using the, uh, I, f I think it's just called the modern background. Oh. You scared me sneaking into my room like that. So I've been playing Journey of the Prairie King for hours and I can't even beat the first level. This game is ridiculously hard. Well, either that or I'm just terrible at it. Hey, do you want to try this level together with me? I think I might do better with your help. Something weird about her just sitting down on the floor on a cushion playing a game in a full collared shirt. Did they ever add like proper multiplayer to Journey of the Prairie King in game? Here they come. You're not on screen and I don't know if you're supposed to be. You got it. Yeah, nice. I wonder if anyone's ever done like a high level run of this game. Wow, you are just fantastic at this, aren't you? If anyone's ever done like a high level run, because I know people have done high round runs of, or like high score runs of Junimo Kart. It's not quite the same thing. I do not need the money, so I'm not even gonna bother. Here, just auto win. I like to think that I'm fairly decent at Journey of the Prairie King. That being said, I've never like gotten Fector's challenge legitimately. I definitely use the little like trick. If you don't know the trick, you can look at my shorts and find it. Oh, that's an easy win. Uh, basically, now that you can save the game, if you save it without any deaths, sleep a day, so that permanently saves that save, if that makes sense. Uh, and then if you replay the game on that second day and die, you can reload your day and it'll be like you never died and you'll not lose your progress that you had before. Cool, easy win. I mean, we did it, that's kind of presumptuous, but sure. Hey, that was fun. Thanks, Sal. You seem to really know your way around a joystick, huh? I guess that makes sense. Now, people think that that is an inappropriate joke. However, I believe it's just referencing the fact that you are literally playing a game at this moment. That's gotta be the case. She could have said it better, but still. Anyway, Sophia, oh my god, it's been forever. Don't eat it. Please. It is one of your favorite things. Sweet. Uh, I think I don't think that went up in hearts with her. Is there anything that I need to buy at the moment? I do need an amaranth. Uh, as for anything else, I don't believe so. Although you do have silver star melons, which is pretty cool. And that bouquet is still there. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna plant the amaranth. What do I even do? <laughs> ah! Well, this is awkward. Uh, you know what? I know what we can do. I was kind of lost because I was like, well, we've kind of accomplished the goal that we were trying to do for the week. But here's another thing we can do that I just thought of. There's an anglerfish for us to catch. And real quickly, I'll try to make a little bit of money so that we can buy a cork bobber and take that on. Oh, it's 750. You know, maybe, maybe we won't get that. Can I, is that craftable? It is, and it uses super basic material. I'll just craft it and then we'll go and try and get the angler. And while we're here, I'll go ahead and plant the amaranth. Seven days, no big deal. Um, is that, I think that one spot is still not covered by a scarecrow, but the chances of that specific spot getting hit by a scare or by a crow, I mean, it's decent because I think with all these crops we have here, we have like seven chances for a crow to appear, but like still, you know? And since I'm up here, might as well check the mystery sale. See if there's anything. No, the chocolate bar is always there. I wonder how you're supposed to get that otherwise. So as is it still up? It's not showing up there. Normally the fish swims around where it's catchable. Did they change the location of the fish? I'm just gonna assume they haven't. 
and I'm going to fish in that spot as if I am going for the angler. I can go higher, but like, should I'm hoping. Let's go for it. Oh, yep, yep, it's still catchable there. So this is, oh, this is going to be embarrassing if I don't catch it. This is one of the easiest legendary fish. And I've, I feel like I've relearned the strategy. You really want to, like, hover near the middle. Like, the anglerfish is just sitting at the bottom. Yeah, th it, that was easy. One and done with. All right, well, we're obviously saving that. That's our second legendary fish. In fact, you know what? No, we can't go into the sewers yet. I was about to say. We could go ahead and get the mutant carp. No. Because we need to unlock that through different means for some reason. So we're just going to have to keep... What is his heart's at? It's at two, right? Oh, that's right. We unlocked Sandy. Could start getting hearts with her. Also, I love that fall outfit. That goes crazy. We have him at two hearts. So we're getting there. To be fair, I can craft slime presses. So maybe the play is go ahead and start making some slime eggs and gift those to him. That actually makes sense, doesn't it? It's, although it's not like slime eggs are easy to come by, but still. Can you even do that before you have a slime hutch? Let's try it. I should have everything I need. Yeah. Make a slime egg press. Who cares? Put it right next to the crystallarium. I should have at least 100 slime. Yep. Sure do. Yeah. <laughs> so that'll be done tomorrow. Sweet. So that can be a loved gift for him, so we can actually start schmoving on that. Okay. Well, there's not too much left for the day. I got the angler. I really, like, just smashed it today. So I think... Just gonna head to bed so we can go ahead and get all those profits for tomorrow. Um, is Robin will start working on the big barn. We'll get the pigs. We'll do a... We'll prepare for a skull cavern run. That's the main thing. Once all these cranberries are ready and we can sell those, we can really get that going. Maybe, probably just get another fish pond started once she finishes up with the barn because getting Rose is going to be important. Catch lava eel, I don't know, do all that kind of stuff. So thank you for watching. See you all in the next one. And good night. <laughs>